Hi and welcome back to our channel. As promised, every Friday there will be a recipe video coming up. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to master the traditional German meatballs with a caper sauce. So Königsberger Klopse. For the meatballs, we're gonna need 250 gram minced beef and 250 gram minced pork, onion, one stale or fresh bread roll, eggs and breadcrumbs. Also, if you like the anchovy paste, you can add some into the mixture. From this amount of meat, I formed 36 small balls. This recipe consists of three separate steps. So first, we're gonna make the meatballs, then we're gonna cook them in the broth, and then finally we're gonna make the sauce. As the first step, I am soaking the bread roll in a cold water for 10 minutes. In the meantime, you can peel and dice the onion. I actually like using fried onion in the meat mixture because it's a bit softer and not as harsh in taste. And therefore, I'm gonna fry it first. After this, I'm gonna squeeze the bread roll to remove the excess water. And in the mixing bowl, I'm gonna combine meat, bread roll and the onion. I'm gonna mix it well and correct the seasoning with the salt and pepper. At the end, I'm gonna add the eggs and check the mixture consistency. The mixture for me was too sticky, therefore I added some breadcrumbs as well. To form one bowl, I needed one tablespoon of the meat mixture. Next, we're gonna prepare the broth for cooking the meatballs. So first, you're gonna bring the beef broth to boil. And in the meantime, you can peel and slice the onion. As soon as the beef broth is boiling, you can add the sliced onion, bay leaf, or spice to the broth, as well as the meatballs. This, I use my slotted spoon. As soon as I added all the meatballs into the broth, I stirred the whole thing again to make sure that the meatballs don't stick to the bottom of the pot. At this point, I let the meatballs simmer for at least 10 minutes. After this time, I turned off the heat and take out the bay leaf and allspice and let them rest in the broth for another 10 minutes. At this point, your meatballs are ready and you can remove them from the broth and keep them warm in the same pot with a lid or aluminium foil. Make sure that you keep the broth because we're still gonna need it to make a sauce. Now we're moving on to the third step, so now we're gonna prepare the sauce. To prepare the sauce, you're gonna need a saucepan, whisk, flour, butter, broth that you cook the meatballs in, cream, capers, egg yolks, salt, pepper, lemon juice and sugar. So firstly, we're gonna prepare the rocks. So we're gonna preheat the saucepan uh, to the medium heat, add the butter and let it melt. And then we're gonna add the flour and let it simmer for another three minutes. After the flour and butter combined, add the broth at once and stir vigorously. Add the cream and the capers and lower the heat. At this point, you can season the sauce with a bit of lemon juice, sugar, salt and pepper. The sauce should have a sweet and sour taste. And at the end, you're gonna turn the heat to low and add the egg yolk. I really hope that now you know exactly how to prepare the Königsberger Klopse, so the German meatballs with a caper sauce. On our blog, you're gonna find a written recipe with the photos that you can print off. Wish you all wonderful Fridays and I see you on Sunday.